welcome to the rounds you are uh, besides the patient professor s k nair sir and teach us how to examine a patient thank you very much can i start dr mera sir this is the first slide sir before i come to the first slide i would like to thank dr kaza for the profuse somewhat overdrawn compliments that he's paid to me but it brings back memories of what he has called the cpc clinical pathological consensus all india institute yes, i don't know i was a frequent target by the institute having served in the institute previously for these cpcs and i enjoyed doing these immensely they used to send a brief history and about the patient and his progress the laboratory findings the x rays and then expect you to come to a diagnosis in a systematic manner before i go further i just like to pay tribute to what i call the backroom boys i used to bring those sheets read them several times myself and then i would distribute to several backroom boys interns house surgeons post graduates and say we will meet again after two or three days go to the library look up things please give me suggestions and their inputs were so valuable that at least eight or nine times out of 10 we were able to hit the bulls eye my tribute to those backroom boys wherever they are however they are having said that now dr apu mera has chosen this subject which i think really needs nothing new what i am going to say today is well known publicized accepted the world over the only thing is that the manner in which it is implemented may have changed a little now the first thing i want to say is number one slide please that your appearance is important you see somebody who is showing signs of yawning ruffled hair unshaven tobacco chewing spitting this does not carry a good impression you must wear an apron which is everyone knows but pay some appearance to your appearance unless there are very extenuating circumstances you just may have come out of the ot in which you can be in your ot dress you may be having your cap but your personal appearance is something that is very important if you are yawning and showing such disrespect to the patient it is not a good thing he does, does not uh, get confidence for the patient next slide sir uh, what about the smile on the face i'm coming to that that will be in one of the subsequent slides now very often you see that doctors are examining a patient the nurse is standing on the left he is dictating instructions to the nurse and several times i have seen you have the your right foot or left foot on the patient's bed very very condemnable this is not the done thing you you may not believe it but i have seen it more often that than that the old time feudal surgeons as i call them used to do it quite often some of them would even smoke while talking to the patient this i think is a reprehensible practice be attentive smile and convey to the patient that you want to help your attitude is very important if the patient thinks that while you are talking to her or examining him or her you are talking to three other different people every now and then giving the nurse instruction receiving a phone call giving instruction to your house surgeon i think the patient thinks that he is just something which he doesn't care about so while you are talking to the patient or examining the patient be attentive smile and convey to the patient that you want to help next slide please avoid harsh manner of speech i think this is a given i may not have included this slide but having seen the feudal surgeons of the past it may come as a surprise to today's young surgeons that surgeons did use very harsh manner especially with patients who had come say from the villages they would talk to him as if a landlord is talking to a peasant which is very very bad you must talk to him in a very gentle manner 
use good terms, avoid a very harsh manner of speech. This is important. It enjoins the patient's confidence in you, that here is somebody who is patient and distinct. Next slide, please. Now, very often the patient has got a bed sheet on and some surgeons, they just pull down the sheet, strip it away, sort of tear it away from the patient. This is not the done thing. Please tell the patient herself, himself, to uncover the part of the body that you wish to examine. The patient may be sitting, lady may be wearing a blouse, you may want to examine the breast, the axillary. And that all requires that the patient must strip down to the waist. Never try to do it yourself. Get a nurse to do it. Get the patient herself to do it. Because if you try to do what you should not do, I think it carries a very bad impression with the patient. If you can't do it, then let there be a nurse to help. But doing it in a very harsh manner is not the done thing. Let the patient cover himself, uncover himself or uncover herself the part of the body that you wish to examine. Next slide. 